Hello everybody, this is Jen Jeff here with a replay commentary of what is potentially one of the longest games of we of, of uh not we of uh Wargame Airland Battle I have ever played. <laughs> now according to Kong, this guy here in the center, this is like his tenth game. And he's been playing with these two for a while. And this is their first loss that he's witnessed. Up until this game, they've won every single game within 20 minutes. So, this is interesting. But oh well. I am setting the timer for a half hour. There is a reason for this. Once the game starts. This game lasted nearly three hours. I'm pretty sure they figured out something was wrong by an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> now they tried to do an aerial assault this way, it didn't work. Oh boy, this is... This was a long freaking game. For God's sake, really? That, ding, 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 ding. Just, just one mark is good. Just one mark is good, thank you. Good lord. They marked up the world. Uh, yeah, you can tell Kong is new at this because he doesn't deploy forward. He loses, he loses his time in this. Now, I really do wish we had extra fobs. This deck, my deck didn't even have fobs because I'm using my Class C deck. Which is nothing but armor, practically, with, the, with, about, with a bunch of infantry, yes, but a lot of armor. And yet my infantry caused some of the most severe damage in the game to our opponents. Now they have a lot of Abrams. Which is kind of all they brought, as well as challengers. But the thing is, when you bring high quality tanks like that, you will run out. And that's what worked out in my advantage. Okay, and speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, pause. Now we're going to take a look at their army, because I couldn't do this before. They're using these command vehicles. What country are they freaking playing? See Hitman. Um... I can't actually select it to tell. I don't think they're using dedicated... No, they're not using dedicated nation decks. Oh, that's why they ran out of tanks so quickly. Because he's using Abrams. And the rest of his stuff is German. Huh. Okay, so there's something... No, no, no. Well, he's using... Abrams and German stuff. This is someone else. Doing a full analysis here. That's German. From Zing. So I know now that Hitman is using a mixed deck. That will work against them. Yeah, these are German. Yeah, so that's already working against them. Zing is also using a mixed deck. I imagine they are all using the same exact deck. Oh good, he's moved up. Martyr Rollins, yeah, he's using a mixed deck as well. Rollins are fucking useless. Challenger, he's using British and American, unless someone else has those, but I don't think so. And German. So British, American, and German. So they're not using dedicated decks. Which gives them fewer units. Okay. Setting timer now. And playing. Now, we have dedicated decks. Oh, fooey. 
Let's see here, this guy's using a bunch of East German stuff. Oh, he might have a mixed deck. No, it's East German. I just don't see unit markings on these BMPs. Because I think they're Russian. So he's got a mostly German deck. East German deck. One of these T-72s. T-72As. Yeah, he's using... East Germans. This is, this grenade launcher was a bad idea on his part. We, we really needed anti-tank missiles. Okay, so that's his army from KW and Paradigm Shift. But everyone in this game was a good person. It was a fun game. A very fun game, but long. Now here's my army. I have lots of trucks. Some of these guys and some cheap T-62s. And over here, <clears throat> get some more infantry and trucks, and some T-55s. Let's go. Oh yeah, and my recce. Yay, recce. Go recce. Okay, and we're off. And nothing's going on. Speed up. <clears throat> so, we run into here. Flying, in my case, kind of flying, because I got recon helicopters, my SU-24. Nope, that uh, not my SU-24. It's killing those things. Takes out their anti-aircraft there entirely. So my guy flies around. I drop bombs there, kill stuff. And this is great. Right off the bat. And goodbye, boom. Gave us a little bit of an early advantage. Yeah, this is the situation. So thus far, two minutes into the game, we have Bravo, Charlie, Delta. They have Foxtrot, Echo, and India. Home base, base is kind of given. And they don't have Golf, because I kind of blew them up. I lose that truck there by accident. I could have really used that extra conquer. I'm just kind of blasting away with missiles. So I get some early kills there. Um, particularly useful things, so I get some early kills. And... Khan? This is a good attack! It was a good try at least, it just didn't work. He's got anti-aircraft, he's got some infantry, tanks, Couple of challengers, some marauder, martyr rollins, four chieftains. It's a good attack considering what I have here is two tanks, a bunch of infantry, and a conquerors. Now let's see his view. What he sees is my tanks coming to reinforce, that's about it. And then, yeah, they don't see much yet. Oh, they're in there. But yeah. And then that thing comes in. It's kind of annoying. What I see is he's got a hard a large force here. And now they see some heroes pop up. I don't actually ever kill those things. I don't well, yeah, I do eventually. Oh no, this guy takes care of one. And then he loses that. Yeah, that's not gonna make it either. Why do they always have to fly over? So, yep, evac time over all the AA! Like, seriously, look at that! That's all of his AA there. But all. Well, by the time this little attack ends, both of these challengers will be dead, all the chieftains will be dead, about half of these things, uh, whatever the hell those are, will be dead. And my Urals are providing up. Lovely distraction. Now, urban combat begins here at the same time. <coughs> They're marking attack, but I know what T-62s can do, and it's not take these things on. <laughs> I'm leaving those to the conquerors. This T-55 actually survives the entire battle. Just sitting there. 
getting some pretty damn good kills while doing it. I see things my tanks can kill and send them in. My MiGs go in, which is a slightly bad idea because a lot of them don't come home. Oh, I did miss a bunch of stuff. If I had dropped a bomb here, it would have been very good, but I didn't. Mildly devastating. Boom! T62 there is doing a good job. T55 just. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm amazed he never noticed this thing. Does he see it? He's got to. Yeah, he's. He sees it. And yet he never targeted it because he could have killed that in one shot. I guess he just discounted it. Or he's not microwaving. But oh well. Now, I've got so many tanks, I can actually afford to take some losses, and I don't have to worry about it. My Conquerors are out of ammunition, so it's now up to my tanks to kind of kick these guys back. Boom. But yeah, the urban combat here finished. It doesn't go very well for my ally, because I went to go support him, but then I came under attack. Again. They want to clear this area out. So they got some Abrams. They don't have many of these. They really don't have enough because they're not use a de using dedicated nation decks. They're using mixed nation decks. Some more of my tanks have shown up. And I'm just driving these Urals down the road. I should have just drove my tanks right up because that could have been handy. They do have... Ha, <laughs> ha, was complaining. like, you guys are fighting together, we're not. Like, yeah, well, actually, there's your freaking problem. That's why we won. We were mutually supporting each other. You only did it in a panic. Eh, you missed. So they pull back their stuff here because they lost... Conk lost his entire army right here. And I didn't have much to defend it, defend against it either. But he just didn't have the numbers to get through. They've marked defense on both of them. This guy marked defense, this guy marked attack. The thing is, I love it when they do that because what, what the hell are they going to attack with? I would have loved if they just charged right down the road again because that would have been very bad for them. going over again. Yeah, that, that guy has a lot of hogs. It just didn't work out for him. And now this is when you discover that uh, East German... Ouch. Not very good. Suddenly he begins bringing in T-80s. I have no clue who. If it's Plane Shift or Paradigm Shift. Um, dedicated Nation decks. Okay, no, it's KW. KW, he's got, if I'm correct, also a mixed deck. Can't tell. KW, 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 KW. He's got an advanced position here, I can't tell. He, it, no, it's, uh, that's German, that's Russian, dedicated Russian. Oh, yes. I deployed a Conqueror's in support here. Retrospect, a kind of bad idea. It does take out a few things, or help take out a few things, because that leopard will die. We just damage a bunch of leopards and other things, but ultimately they hold that position there. And they're coming back down the road, and they're over there with some jaguars, which will die. Ah, uh, yes, this is what I wanted, because this is where this attack begins. And the only way I can support is with this, because I'm I, all my ground troops are busy over here. And so, urban combat begins in a variety of different locations. 
at the same time. Boom, boom, boom. Rockets going off. Lots of rockets. Or if you're getting freaking hammered. Boy, men are getting hammered everywhere. And off goes those bombs. But a boom. I think that might have been my airplane. I didn't make it. Because I'm trying to support. Um, don't bring T-72s that close to an urban fight situation. They will die. In fact, don't bring tanks that close to an urban fight situation. They will die. Put them over here and blast into their flank. But driving them straight in? Good way to get him killed. A very good way to get him killed. This guy is still holding onto these woods in a very annoying manner. Preventing us from doing a heck of a lot there. Oh yes, these guys try to cross over. He loses all these Abrams in the process. That Bradley will die. Another Conquerors begins firing there. Another Reardon dead. Frankly, I've just got a crossfire across this entire area right here. These guys reach halfway. These guys reach... Well, these guys reach more than halfway. These guys reach more than halfway. And he's got an Alpha jet. Boom. He started with four Abrams, he's down to two. And these guys won't survive either. And... This is when I realize I need... Anti-aircraft over here. Just boom! Supply trucks explode in a giant fireball. Boom! They miss, come on! Thud. I'm not quite sure. Oh, the BMP. Go BMP! And now, because I don't want them there... Boom. And all my conquerors have lived. And so there's wreckage of that force strewn along the battlefield. And that is a devastating loss to lose M1 like that. Because even a dedicated deck can only bring eight of those things. That's it. Or maybe they can bring 8 generally, I don't know. But the most you can bring is around 8 to 12. So that represents one half to one third of their Abrams force right there. I lose T60s. I lose two, uh, four T65s? Two, uh, 64s, I mean? Whoopee! I have over 50. They don't have 50 M1A1s. So ultimately, that's really painful losses to him. And then that Bradley will die. Boom. Now here come the Drakens. Now they're evacing because they can't see him anymore. And I go, fine, I'm bringing AA. Now they're trying to take this position there. And this guy's just going to... Stop throwing tanks piecemeal! Ugh! He's heavily damaged. He's still throwing tanks piecemeal. And this attack will pick back up again. They will eventually take this. Not after, so after not before some very heavy losses. And <laughs> attack, yes, kind of notice it. My artillery going in. There was some lag, so on my screen, that thing was actually still there when the rounds went in, but apparently it was outside the range. Why are you doing that? Um, I should have sent some bombers into hit here, because I could have actually killed stuff, perhaps. But oh well, another big... Infantry attack, so I believe I start telling my artillery to shoot over there. Yep, off they go. He sends in some TO-62s, but once again, he's doing it in the wrong direction, and they get killed. Or he doesn't get killed. He just doesn't get killed. Right. Oh well. He held on to this for a real long time without really having resources there. 
And it cost them a lot, because these are cheap units. And we all have a lot of them. They don't exactly have all that many acres. I have 72 infantry. 72 motor strikey in my deck. So I can afford to lose these guys. You can't afford to lose Jaegers. So they start to deplete their infantry there. This T-80 is going to die. Now it's an Abrams there. Like right here would have been a great spot for some um, conquerors. Right there, because it's bring up tanks this way. Boom, dead. Well, that T-80 died real quick. Our hitman's marked that for an attack. Boom. He's destroying. He's trying to destroy anti-aircraft. They're not doing very good hitting. Chaparral batteries still miss terribly. T-72s are moving forward. T-75s. attack carries on here. I can take the bombardments. And harassing, because I kill these Abrams as well. Boom. Boom. Bam. And don't kill that because he's away far enough. But they're losing their Abrams really early on through some really stupid stuff. And that really hurts them in the end. <sighs> Retrospect, I'm sitting here thinking I should have really dropped cluster munitions right here. I could have destroyed more of them, including a leopard. But I didn't. That was a lost opportunity on my part. I got this Ural there just to annoy him. So I've got an anti-aircraft battery set up here with some books, because they kept sending stuff over there. Conkers is still alive, barely. These guys are coming in, I'm putting the Conkers over there. Is that mine? Yeah, that was mine. I blow up. The supply truck, that was stupid. I do eventually send one, but instead of blowing up tanks, I blow up a supply truck. Huzzah! The showing of the Gingeft Air Force. Fighting Falcon coming in to try to mop up that last conquer. And some other stuff. And boom, it's gone. They didn't like them being there. Still got motor strikey there. I have more infantry coming. No. Now we've hit a lull in the fighting, except for over here it continues. Pretty practically unabated. They're using up their supply, which is actually kind of good. Wow! Nice! He managed to destroy that before they were able to repair it. Nicely done! That's another massive loss, because we have plenty of T-72Ms. They don't have that many leopards. And now we're destroying supplies. Yeah, once again, they move their tanks. <coughs> I'm good at this! They're damaging those. They might kill it, I'm not sure. what happens, they call in toes. <laughs> Attack. They want this place badly. Zing. Zing. Who's here? Hitman and Zing. So yeah, they're fighting there combined. 
Kong is over there. <coughs> And that was actually good moving our ally, on my allies' part, destroying their supply, because it makes it hard. You really are limited in how much supply you can call on the field. And with that, that hurts. Taking out all that supply. <coughs> Boom. I move a book in there, because I'm getting tired of him being bombed as well. And then my recce shows up as well. Uh. I've got a Jupiter in there still. That thing will die. If you try to attack here, it doesn't really work. Boom. So their attacks on the left don't really go all that great for them. That hawk's out of ammo. It's not really going all that great for this guy with what he's doing. These aren't gunship helicopters. He's using them as such. Just blasting away. And then an Alpha Jet shows up, and it gets shot down too. Boom, goodbye. Fighting continues here. I'm amazed they don't... We were very much in danger of losing this. Which would have sucked. But they never pressed home. Which was a big mistake on their part. Because if they broke through here and got to our rear, they could have ended the game. It would have been a game-ending blow, but they never did it. Instead, there's these little guys shooting out there. Building the building. So now they decide to attack here. <coughs> you can see a bunch of the Fuchs Milan coming up. That's not loaded. These are. We're at a uneasy position there. They're using a Jupiter to try to repair stuff, but it just doesn't have enough, so they should be bringing in extras soon. Boom, boom. And there goes that. It's dead. And shortly the battle for here will begin. Boom, boom, ba boom Milan's being blown up. Ah, run away, trucks! Carrying reinforcements, but they don't quite get... Frickin' bomber! Wait, what? What? Can I re... Nope, I can't. You can either restart... You can't rewind. Okay, so... Even though I know what's dropping those bombs... I thought it was. Boom! Artillery fire comes in. <laughs> they could have destroyed my supply trucks right there. I don't know why they didn't. I just unload the trucks and let them go. This route becomes impassable to both sides. That guy drops a bomb. Gets shot down. But fighting for Delta, or Dimitri, for the Russians has begun. So that's dead. I see them come this way. Oh, technically, Paradigm Shift sees them come that way. Really? Did my iPod just die? Yay! I shot down! The F-16 is what's dropping those really mm, annoyingly big bombs. Oh, my iPod just died. The battery's dead. Okay. So when this hits half an hour, I'm cutting it off. Which is five minutes. Unless there's a big battle going on, at which point we'll continue. Nope. We won't. We'll let it dead. Uh, 
Can I catch these guys? This is Kong trying to do stuff here, and I go, no, deny. Destroy those first, because I can destroy my tanks. He's moving Jaegers in, Martyrs in there. My cats are fighting. Tanks are providing support. It's kind of quiet at the moment. This is like the most active spot. I just destroyed the entire aircraft. And now I'm going to kill the chieftains. They move up into this area. I'm going to move this BMP over. My artillery fire continues as I've drained my supply depot. We've got infantry coming in now. I see the martyr right there. I'm trying to kill the martyrs. But just basic T-62s, which aren't bad tanks. No, they're 70, 1975. The basic one's 1972. They're bringing in Abrams, though, which is going to be an issue. Just two Abrams can really make life miserable. Uh, yeah, Zing wants Kong to attack. I would have actually loved him to attack with that force, because I would have killed it. Easily killed it. And now my artillery continues firing again under the positions. My T-62s start to pull back because I need Abrams. Land coming from Hitman. So Hitman's trying to take this town here. Three more minutes until the end of the part one for the big epic battle. And a sign of why you don't give up. I'm going to show an well, example of why you don't give up. Big escapes. No, it doesn't. Of course not. My T seventy two's come over. I don't know. I told them to fast move to like here, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, we're stopped now." Really, guys? Unfortunately, T seventy twos also have craptastic accuracy. Pack a punch. Crap. Fantastic accuracy. Here comes my infantry. I've got to call them in from down here because if they come this way, they just die. As my allies manage to do it repeatedly. Oh, I'm going to blow up that thing. Boof! Down you go. And there go those poor guys. That's my last. I could, oh no, they're over here. Conquerors, but even Conquerors are incredibly powerful. KW showed up kind of just in time to help me out with this. And now my Urals show up with their more with their infantry as well. <clears throat> and we're going to throw them back. Don't drive forward into infantry in a village! No! You're losing these! Unload. Unload. Anytime now, unload. Ding. And ding. Right into them. Open them up so that my tanks can now see them and just start unloading on them. I don't care about the heroes. They're preventing the BMP. No! Don't move them forward! Don't move them f Now you're in a crossfire between two infantry units! Oh, it does clog the road, which can be handy, but don't do- don't do that. 
this is what you want to do. You want to have them back a bit so they can shoot into them right here outside of town. Don't drive them down Main Street because they die. That's just suicide. Oh, it's 30 minutes. We'll do it after this battle. Oh no, this is the start. Um, so this is what we'll pick up with the next video. This was a big battle. It looked lost at one point. Went on for hours. <laughs> but it was a good one. See you later.